but we're three rounds in and the Falcons already have their third pick so far. Right here, the man of the hour, Zach Harrison from Ohio State University. How are you feeling right now? You are officially a Falcon. I feel so blessed, you know, just I'm really at a loss for words. I feel like I thought I had, you know, what it's going to feel like, but it just feels so much better than I could even imagine. So, man, I'm just I'm just blessed. When I got on the phone with you, you said you felt a lot better than you did 30 minutes ago. What were the emotions 30 minutes ago? What were what was going through your head? Yeah, I can't I can't lie. I was definitely nervous. Um just kind of I don't know if it's nervous. I was just anxious, you know, kind of just kind of see where where I'm going to go, where I'm going to end up, what city I'm going to, and you know, the Falcons gave me the call and I just I couldn't be more excited to go, you know, play for a great organization. When you got the phone call and you kind of felt the vibration, what did you feel? What were you thinking? What was going through your head? It was just kind of like, no way. Like, there's no way this is actually happening. It feels kind of like a dream or like a movie. It's like, it still kind of feels surreal that, you know, that I'm, I'm, I'm about to go, you know, live my dream. I just, you know, experience something that, that I didn't dreamed of since I was little. So it just doesn't really feel real right now. Your dreams come to fruition. So, but you're with your family, right? Where are you right now and who are you celebrating with? Uh I'm in my, uh, I'm in Columbus. I'm in my uh, dad's office. All my family is downstairs, so I can, you know, come somewhere quiet. So what was your family's reaction? I imagine you have a lot of people there with you celebrating. What was all of their reaction when you hung up with the phone and you told them it was Atlanta? Yeah, they were happy. They were, uh, my dad actually went to go, uh, he was scrambling to find the right hat. You know, it was kind of, you know, a little, a little organized chaos, you know, just, just good energy, good vibe, everybody just being happy. You're coming from the Ohio State University. What was the experience like to play for such a prestigious Power Five school like that? Yeah, man, I feel like Ohio State is the best at everything, you know. But I'm might be a little biased, but I just feel like, you know, academically on the field, you know, just preparing you to, for life and, you know, your next step, you know, the NFL, just being a man, you know, Ohio State prepared me for that, and I'm I'm forever grateful. You're gonna be joining a lot of men that have been in the NFL for a while, Grady Jarrett, Calais Campbell, David Onyemata, what makes you most excited about playing with these guys? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I'm excited just to go work, just to go, you know, put my head down and go grind, you know, put one foot in front of the other and, you know, see where I end up when I look up and just to go learn from those vets, like a guy like Calais, who, you know, has been, been around the league for, since I was watching football, Calais Campbell's been in the NFL, so, you know, to go, Learn from a guy like that, you know, it's just huge for, you know, for me and my career going forward. You mentioned the grinding mentality. What can Falcons fans expect from you as a player on the field? I mean, all I can say is they're going to get everything I got. You know, when I, when I got that call, it was like, you know, it's time to go to work. You know, it's celebration. But then once that once that's over, you know, I got, I just got to get back to the grind. You know, they're just going to get every, everything I got. That's really all I can say. I want to go back to Ohio State for a second because – this is a fact that I learned that I don't know if many of you know at home. You graduated from the University of Ohio, or, I'm so sorry, the Ohio State University with a degree in criminology. What interested you in getting that degree? Yeah, actually, uh, I wanted to be an FBI. So um, I kind of went the psychology route and then uh, kind of switched halfway through, kind of realized criminology was, you know, more, more for me and kind of just kind of stuck with that, you know. Could that be like a possible career after the NFL for you? It could be, yeah. You know, you know, my options are open, but right now I'm just focused on, you know, you know, playing, playing in the NFL for as long as I can. All right, last question. I'll let you go back to celebrating with your family because this is one of the biggest nights in your of your life. What's something off of the football field and outside of having a degree in criminology that Falcons fans might not know about you? Um. I would say uh, I'm a big anime guy, so if you, you know all my anime fans out there, you know, just uh, just shout out to them. You know, I'm a big anime guy. You know, watch it. You know, I'm watching One Piece right now. I'm just kind of that's what I do in my spare time. Well, okay, I'm not a big anime fan, so you'll have to teach me a little bit about that when you get here in Flowery Branch. We're excited to have you. Congratulations on being drafted by the Falcons. Yeah, thank you so much.